I greet every one of you in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, our soon coming King. It is approximately 2 a.m. in the morning and the Lord just showed me a, a dream, in a dream. He just showed me Haile Selassie. In, um, when you look at Job chapter 33, verse 15, it says, In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, in slumberings upon the bed, then he openeth the ears of men and sealeth the instruction. Maybe sometimes he does it like that because sometimes men are so stubborn when they are awake that they may think that it's their, their own mind. They may think that they're so smart, so sometimes you have to allow men to sleep to really show them certain things. That he may withdraw man from his purpose and hide pride from man. He keepeth back his soul from the pit and his life from perishing by the sword. So, approximately just around uh, 2 a.m., the Lord showed me Haile Selassie in a dream. Now, Haile Selassie, I was in a place where I was just, I was very close to him and I was observing his movements. Now, the pictures that you see of Haile Selassie, that's exactly how I saw him, except he was much better than how he looks in those pictures. He, he, he looked more excellent, um, but Haile Selassie is a guy of excellence, and he, he loves to teach. And he appears to be very strict. He's a very strict individual. But the reason that he, he is strict is because he wants, to, he wants to ensure that things are done up to standard. And he wants to ensure that people are learning very well. That is the reason why he is strict. But he's a man of class. He's a man of class. And um, he's very knowledgeable. I listen to say. Very knowledgeable guy. Um, a, a man of excellence. And you know he takes very um, a lot of pride in his in his appearance. When you when you look at him, you see excellence. He's well shaped. He looks better than how you see him on this um on this um on the books and on the pictures that they have. Now, I, when whilst I was observing him, because I was just observing him, I was very close to Haile Selassie, and I was I was observing his move, the way he interact with people, and um. I was in a place and then he, he was telling some people that he just came back from Trinidad. And so when I got out of this dream, I went and do a Google search to see if whether or not this um, Haile Selassie was ever in Trinidad. And lo and behold, he was in Trinidad um, in, on April 18th, 1966, Haile Selassie was actually in Trinidad, which actually um, uh, confirmed the, the dream that he he actually was in Trinidad so I saw him where he, he he just he was telling some people that he just came back from Trinidad now it will disappoint some of my Rasta friends um, because they believe that Haile Selassie is God um, I did not see him as God Haile Selassie is an ordinary man but the thing is he's a man of excellence he's a man of excellence he's a, he, he has very high standards and he, he, he appears to be very strict. He's a very good teacher and very, um, he's a very good teacher. He's very effective but, and very strict. But the reason why he's strict is because he, he really wants excellence. He, he doesn't tolerate uh, mediocrity. If you are around him, you have to be good. He wants you to be good. You know, he wants you to learn very well and that is his nature. So, um, yeah, in closing, yeah, um, it will just disappoint the Ras. My Ras friends it will disappoint them because they believe Haile Selassie is God. I did not see him as that. I see him as an ordinary man, but a man of excellence, a man of high standards. Um, he's a very effective teacher. He's very good as a teacher. Very effective. Very good. But he did visit Trinidad because I was in a place where he was telling the people that he just came from Trinidad. And yeah, when I checked um, Google, he wasn't treating that for true. So um, yeah, that this thing just confirmed to me that he was a man of excellence, but he was not God. Keep the fire burning.